I just got outside uh, Cairo Airport and uh, managed to get a taxi. And uh, the driver's actually a bit of a character. His name is Mamoon. Mamoon, Mamoon. That's it. Good, good. Welcome, Mr. Justin. That's From it. Like, like Me, Liverpool Club, Musala. See, you're another Liverpool fan. Ah. Everyone in uh, Egypt, I, I think, sports Liverpool from what you were saying. But um, managed to get a taxi, negotiate a decent rate. Uh, there's lots of uh, taxi drivers out there, um, official and probably unofficial. So make sure when you're down here, negotiate a good uh, taxi rate. There's also the shuttle bus which takes you to the bus station. But the thing is, it's boiling hot. And I thought, uh, if I wait around for a shuttle bus and a bus, then... Uh, it's going to be it's going to take too long but i managed to get a decent price um you're gonna probably end up paying it's sort of 120 130 140 in excess um depending upon your bargaining skills uh, but uh, the driver's a bit of a character it's taking me into uh cairo where i've got a hotel in downtown cairo now i did book a hotel originally in giza but uh, they cancelled on me because they're undergoing renovations and uh, so I booked in uh, downtown Cairo instead because uh, when I booked it I didn't really plan it too well but then I found out that there's nothing in Giza so uh, I thought why not book a hotel in downtown Tomorrow, Cairo instead I meet Gaston. go to visit the pyramids and the Sphinx that's it, the pyramids and the Sphinx pyramids Mahmoud and the Sphinx saying. Giza Tomorrow I am prepared a good program for me, for me. Mr. Gans, uh, Gaston, my friend, I go to Pyramids and the Sphinx and the Museum uh, International. So apparently he's going everywhere. Yeah. And uh, he's offering to take me, uh, which obviously I'm going to turn down. Um, I'm just uh, going to use him for the taxi journey to the hotel. But I think he wants to latch on to me and then uh, take me around and show me whatever he wants to show. He's saying this is the street to get to uh, downtown Cairo, which is where he's taken me. And, uh, you know, one thing that I did see over there, there was a few taxi drivers. They look like characters. Uh, they're quite talkative here, I think, and uh, which is good because... Uh, Ended up being a Liverpool fan as well, which is a bonus. I don't know if he's a fan, actually. Well, actually, he did know the latest scores, so I think he is a fan. And, uh, yes, more dangerous driving here. Actually, that was good driving. There's a guy in the middle of the road telling us to move. And, uh, actually, I'm not asking him, actually. Is Egypt, is Egypt safe now? Yeah? It's good now? Yeah? Yeah. Safe? Now, good Egypt. Yeah. And the safety. Safety is good, yeah? Good safety. And the present Sisi is a very good leader. Sisi is good, yeah? Good leader. Better than Mubarak. No, 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 change. Change. Barak, old man, not experience. No, he's, he's, he's gone. Sisi. He's gone cuckoo. Yeah, he's. Uh, Barak is gone. Sisi, Sisi, good man. So Sisi's a good man. The good latest, man. the current leader. New building in Zaru. A so, new building, uh, a new city, a new street, a new road. So yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot's happening here. Actually, as I was coming into land, actually, you can see new developments taking place as the uh, aircraft was getting uh, uh, making its descent. Uh, coming towards the runway. Lots of new developments. I, I know that there's new Cairo City being developed as well because uh, Cairo itself I think has close to 20 million population uh, within the uh, city. As, that's official, I think unofficial probably, who knows how many undocumented people there are. But uh, apparently uh, Cairo now is good, it's safe. Good. And uh, good place. it's uh, now good center downtown. Center Cairo. So Cairo, as he's saying, there is a good now. Center, Hadley Street, Asr al-Nil, Abdel Khali, Sarawat. So, so now tourists coming back, yeah? Yeah, uh, Not, complete. More tourists, yeah? No, 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 no. Full tourists. Full tourists. Full of. Full. What about coronavirus? Yeah. Corona? Corona. No, Corona. No, Corona. No, Corona's no. gone. 
No, Corona. Yeah, so Corona's gone as well. Corona get out from Cairo. Yeah. Where's it gone? Out, in, out of Egypt? Go from America. So from he's... London. <laughs> they sent it to America and to London, you say. Well, now I've brought it back. Now, yeah. hot. Yeah. Hot and the sun. Yeah, so it's hot here. Yeah. It's, it actually is hot. It's about 32, 33 degrees here. And uh, so he's saying that the corona has gone. He sent it away to London and to America. I'm not sure how much truth there is in that, but we'll go with it for now. Uh, the taxi driver, Mahmoud, is a bit of a character. Corona the event of America. Made an, made an USA Corona. So you go, he's blaming the Americans uh, and, uh, for Corona. Sana'a Amerikaya. Uh, we had Trump blaming mid the end, Chinese. Mid end of America. We got the taxi driver blaming. And that's it. It's a, it's a battle going on. It's a battle going on. Uh, who takes responsibility? I don't know. But it's all happening here in uh, Egypt, in okay. Cairo. And uh, the taxi driver's putting on his seatbelt now because he's noticed that there's a lot of uh, law enforcement around. And uh, yeah, for safety, it's good to see anyway. But uh, I'm glad actually I took the taxi instead of a bus. I was going to actually take the bus and to make a bus video, but then it was hot and my, my forehead was sweating. And uh, I saw him loafing about and I thought, you know what, let's just get a taxi. And I started negotiating with him and we spent about 10, 15 minutes just arguing over what actually is about one pound. But then I was in the mood for a bit of haggling anyway. Um, that's what um, spending a lot of trips in India does to you. You get used to haggling and... Uh, this is Fakr the army. This is the army, yeah? Fakr uh, army. Army. Can this, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So army. This, this is where the army hang out. I didn't actually know that Egypt had an army, but there you go. You learn something new every day. Uh, yeah, but actually they have been in a few wars as well. Uh, Egypt. So... Uh, yeah, there's our army in Egypt. But it's all, uh, it's very um, humid. And uh, let me see uh, if I can get any uh, footage of uh, the buildings. It's, uh, it's very humid here, very dusty as well, which you'd expect in um, Africa. We're at the top of Africa, actually. And... Uh, Mahmoud the driver, actually he's quite a decent driver actually. I did read somewhere that the uh, driving yeah. rules in Cairo are non-existent but this chap is following good rules, good practices I guess although he didn't put his seatbelt on in the beginning and put it on later on but it doesn't matter we'll forgive Mahmoud the uh, folly but uh, it's actually quite nice. Aliobles. It's nice. It's nice it's going Aliobles. in here. Yeah. Aliobles. This is a building, uh, England Bridge. It, it's an English building. Yeah. Is one it? eight eight one thousand eight eight two. English. So apparently, it's an English, bu Engineer. English building one eight eight two. Can you see? Like you from London. It's a bridge building. So he's showing me the buildings. The Meridian Hotel. So there's a, yeah, this. lots of uh, hotels around here as well. The Meridian. Meridian. Meridian Hotel. Meridian. I've stayed at a Meridian, actually the one in Delhi. Le Meridian, I think they call it over there. It's the white building one. It's quite nice as well, quite nice. But I'm going to downtown Cairo, not downtown Delhi. With Mahmoud, the taxi driver. The man who. After 200 meters, this building, Chateau Baron. Chateau Baron, building 1885. Greek uh, engineer. Can you see? All day the sun. It shine inside the Chateau Baron. Here, Chateau Baron. That building? Chateau Baron. That's an interesting building. Yeah. Greek? Is that Greek? Greek. Greek building? Yeah, Greek. Chateau Baron. 
look like a uh, manda from India. Sun all day inside the chapel. So yeah, it's uh, interesting buildings over here actually. There's a lot of interesting architecture. I didn't imagine this. You know, I, I didn't um, think of this when I planned my trip to Cairo. Here, Chateau Brisin CC. Chateau Brisin CC here. Oh, I think yes, he's pointing here. his way out. Oh, here he is. It's a new bridge. So it's showing me the architectural delights of uh, Cairo as we make our way in. So not only does he know how to drive, he knows his history as well. What's this Shabal Barna? What's that mean? Eat gum. Eat gum? Eat gum. He's Abu Barna. He was having a go at someone. That's how he said that to him. I thought, what is he saying? It's quite a forceful man he is. He's, uh, that's it, this is our street here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, we are downtown now. There's a men's club over there as well. Do you go to these men's clubs here? No. Probably not. I don't think he knows what it is. Just uh, reached my hotel, courtesy of Mahmoud, the uh, taxi driver, the one with the fantastic commentary. And I'm in the Talat Al Harb district, actually, the area. And I'm on the six, stuck on sixth floor, looking down at this. So I will get to sleep first, rest after my journey and uh, explore the sights and sounds of Cairo and Giza and maybe beyond depending upon my mood where I end up. Um, I haven't planned a lot. I roughly have an idea of where to go and it's quite high up actually. Put it this way, you got vertigo, yeah, don't come here on the sixth floor. But from uh, downtown Cairo, uh, it's uh, goodbye.